Now, you'll be see how quickly it's changed now. It's clouded over in the distance where they got that blue sky shot with the rocks in the foreground and the mountains beyond. So I'm going to go back to the lake and walk a bit further along, see if I can find any patterns in the ice. Uh, it's a bit unfortunate because of the snow cover, because it's covering a lot of those details that I'm looking for. And then we'll see how we get on. It is mid-afternoon now, so that light's going to be ever-changing. So I'm going to always be aware of the light and where the light is. And then just slowly make my way up this lake. But you can tell by my face I'm pleased with those last couple of shots. It's been an absolute brilliant day. It's still bitterly cold. Uh, but when you get excited like that about light, uh, it takes all those feelings away. You don't actually feel the cold anymore, so it's been a good thing. So I'm going to get back and carry on, carry on with the day and see what else we can come across. Well, what can I say, how things have changed since I last spoke to you now. I did go down to the shoreline there and try for some images. I was looking for those abstract shots that I like. The weather, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. We've got a lovely sunrise this morning. We've got some nice light earlier on with those trees. And now it's just tipping it with snow. And the landscape's just completely changed. There's no colour there now. You've got your darks and you've got the whites of the snow. Now, before I pack up and move to the van, uh, van, Paul and Adrian are further over by the shoreline there, but I really wanted to capture another shot of these trees. I wanted to capture some of this drama. I wanted to capture some of the snow falling with those two amazing trees that I've got behind us, those scotch pines. It's simply going to be these trees. It's all about these trees that I want to capture. And having this snowy conditions is going to really help with that, so they're going to stand out. I am going to take a couple of aspect ratios, so it gives us a choice when I get back, but a smile on my face, you know, it's not often that you get days like this. We've got a lovely sunrise, we've got that amazing light on those trees earlier on, and we're going to get to photograph these beautiful scotch pines in the snow. Now, we are going to pack up and head back to the van. Uh, we're going to sit it out for a bit, go and get something to eat. I'm not sure what we've got planned for later on. It shows you how fast the weather can change when you're up in Scotland and areas like that, the Lake District. So you've always got to be prepared. I've got plenty of layers on today. I've got a good pair of boots and a couple of pairs of socks and I'm nice and warm. So I'm going to get back and get these shots, see if we get any sunlight coming through. You never know. Uh, today's been a bit of a wicked day, so I'm going to get back get these shots and I hope you like them. So we've made our way a bit further up, it is a lot later in the day now, it's close to sunset now. 
Now we are getting colour round about, but not in the right places, but I have come up with a composition that I really like. Now I've put the 1 to 400 on for this shot. I want to really draw these mountains uh, closer towards us. Now you'll be able to see um, in the lake there, it's frozen, but we've got this dark patch which creates a leading line over to the mountains in the background. And I think it really works even without that colour. Now I'm not saying we're not going to get any colour, uh, we could well do. So I'm going to take this shot anyway, you know, and if I get a shot with colour I'll also put that up, but it doesn't really look like that's going to happen. Now I've gone in at 100mm with the 1 to 400, it's going to give us that compression. I've put my ISO up to 320 because it is rather windy up here. We're well exposed uh, with all that cold blast that's coming in. And I'm round about F8, just focused in on those mountains on the background and that's going to be the shot. It's going to be a nice simple image and it's going to be a nice image to end the day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get back and get this shot and we'll see how it turns out and cross our fingers for that bit of colour. <laughs> so we've came uh, we've came back out we actually we had to leg it back to the van yeah it was chucking it down with sleet and snow uh it was blowing a gale the winds picked up but you'll be able to see behind us now we're getting some blue sky we're getting some definition in the clouds now so i've rushed back down to set up the shot that i was going to take before that weather turned now it is still breezy but it's nothing too bad at least it's dry now I wanted to take a square composition. I just want to utilise two of these rocks uh, with the 35mm, get pretty close. So you're going to have the two boulders in the foreground and then you're actually going to have two of the main mountains which mimic, uh, mimic those boulders uh, in the background as well. So I'm going to get back and get this shot, put it on the screen above, see how the conditions change. We'll maybe move on to a different location, I'm not sure yet. But what a morning it's been and it just goes to show landscape photography can be like that at times. It can be dramatic, you're rushing about, you jumping in and out of the van like we did today. Uh, but it's great fun and it's just great to be out. Oh, the weather today is so changeable, it's really windy, it's, I'm making use of my pocket too today to do all my videos, so I've got more of a run and gun style and I can be quicker, uh, because it's just too changeable to set up different cameras. Uh, so I've got set up for another shot that I really like, now I've put on the longer focal length, I've put on the 100 to 400, love this lens, you can get really close on those details. Now the shot that I want to capture now, I will try and get you some video, but it's socked in at the moment. Uh, but I'm going for the square composition again, 
Now when you get that uh, blue sky above, it's casting uh, its colour onto the snow in the foreground. There's some lovely layers there and I've picked out one of the main uh, interesting mountains in the background. Now what I'm wanting is I'm wanting actually to get some light on that mountain so it really stands out in the middle of the composition and then you're gonna have the, those lovely cool tones in the foreground with all those layers. So all I'm waiting for is some more blue sky to see if we can get this shot. Now I'm being aware of the because we've got so much wind and I'm using the longer focal length I'm only going to 100 mil so that's going to limit uh, the camera shake and vibration when that wind hits the side of the lens because that's where it's hitting so that's the shot that I'm going to go for and we'll see if we can get any more if not we might make our way back to the van go and get something to eat get a coffee and warm up so I'm going to get back get this shot and I hope you like it Now we've been waiting for the shot of the mountains uh, behind us there but because of this rain it's just coming into the lens and I wanted to look for some shots that's going to allow us to keep out of that rain with the use of the lens hood. So I started taking my attention away from the mountains for the time being unless we get a break in that weather and I wanted to take some detail shots so I've came across this first shot it's a lovely square composition sorry about the wind it is rather windy and um, what I'm doing is there's some lovely pinks there's a lot of details in there there's whites there's greys and it's beautiful it really is so I'm going in at 100 mil with the 100 to 400 aspect ratio one by one in camera and that is going to be the shot and what a beautiful shot it is uh, it's nice photographing the mountains and the bigger scenes but they also like to go for those intimate smaller scenes as well and this is a good example when you can't see anything within the landscape itself go down onto the shoreline and see what you can come across I'll show you these amazing textures on these rocks uh, there's some lights and darks there but I love uh, the detail I love the way it pans in from the left hand side you've got the different interest to the right hand side so it, it more or less spreads out now I've used the one by one aspect ratio again really love that aspect ratio especially for these uh, abstract style shots and I've just homed in as always discarded any of the messy parts and just focused in on that interest now I'm shooting this at f16 I only need to take one shot that's getting everything sharp the only thing I've to be aware of is this wind hitting the side of this lens because the way the wind's coming over my shoulder it is hitting the lens that's why I'm gonna shield it with my body 
Uh, so that's a little tip for you. Uh, I'm putting my ISO up to 400 ISO to gain a quicker shutter speed and that seems to be getting the image. And we'll just have to see what happens with the weather. I'm going to look a bit more around here, see if there's any more uh, little scenes that I can photograph while we're waiting on that light. And the thing is, we might not even get that light, so at least I've got images in that time that I've been here. So I'm going to get back, get this shot, and I hope you like it. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed those last couple of images. Uh, it was great exploring this little bit of coastline. It doesn't stretch for far, but it's just been a nice break. While we've had a break in the weather, what a frantic day it's been. You remember this morning, we had the snow blizzards, we had color in the sky, but I couldn't get a shot with the color in the sky. Uh, but we tried some shots over the frozen lake there, and I was really pleased with them. We just didn't get any dramatic light in the mountains in the background and then it tipped it with rain so eventually at Fort William we came away sat in the van and made our way down onto this bit of uh, coastline here now the scene over my left shoulder it's not really doing it for us it's pretty flat now there is some light there uh, but it you know I was more interested and more attracted to these rocks and the interest on the beach and that's one thing to do don't always get fixated with the big vistas i've told you many times in the past while you're waiting on the conditions change and while you're waiting on that light explore the area that you're standing uh, so i am going to call it an end to today's video i'm going to continue exploring this beach so you never know i'm ever getting another image so hope you've enjoyed these videos from scotland along with the lake district it's been absolutely awesome it really has it's been great to meet up with my family and friends and i want to thank everyone uh, but the day after tomorrow i am returning to vancouver unfortunately now i'm going to be continuing my videos uh, back in vancouver but to come and photograph something totally different which it is it's been amazing so if you've enjoyed today's video along with the others don't forget please give it a thumbs up it really does help with the algorithm. I really enjoy doing them. Don't forget to leave a comment below. I always read your comments. Let us know your thoughts on my trip. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye bye.